talked about perception of pain before. Yeah. So I was in constant pain, and I would say now I'm more discomfort. <laughs> and it's always there. Yeah. It doesn't seem to ever really go away. Well, pain is an interesting thing because pain is something that your brain is feeling. So your body is sending a message to your brain, and your brain is interpreting that message as pain. Like right there, that kind of hurts. Some people feel pain more because their brain is giving them more of that feedback. And the longer you're in pain, sometimes your brain actually changes a little bit and it's almost more sensitive to that body part. And that's when we get into persistent pain. Ow, ow, ow. That hurts. There are some neurological changes that take place in your brain with that. And it's tricky because if the client or the patient is fearful of pain or if they have a catastrophic outlook on their pain, it doesn't help reprogram their brain to go back into a normal state. Pain doesn't necessarily have to be a scary thing. And I find those people that are less fearful of pain eventually have less pain. When you are fearful of pain, it ramps up that whole fight or flight part of your nervous system, which just almost amplifies the pain. It's like then your pain is talking through a loudspeaker. So if you're less fearful of it, it actually subsides a bit. And then if you keep having it subside, then your brain doesn't create as much pain. I think when I expected it to hurt, then maybe it didn't hurt as much. Right, when you accepted that it was going to be painful and you weren't right. afraid of the pain. I think that was a big part of the recovery too, Yeah. as you said earlier. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great videos coming soon. You're more than welcome to download and share my videos with credit. The videos cannot be modified or used commercially.